Hey gang, we are out here building more stuff for the boat. Uh, the Ranger 37 does not come with an installed propane locker because it was a race boat and not a cruising boat. And we are cruisifying this boat. And uh, for the last few years I've had a propane tank just strapped on the deck with a line that ran through the, the deck uh, feeding the oven. Um, but it's in the way, it's ugly, it leaves everything out in the elements. So I'm making a plywood box. I'm going to coat it in some resin, seal it up, and then install it in the boat. So just a couple things to think about with these. Um, some folks uh, will just do a straight fiberglass wrap around the thing, but then it uh, tends to be pretty heavy. Uh, I wanted a, a square locker type situation, uh, mostly because your propane locker ideally should be big enough to hold these little suckers too. Uh, I know a lot of people like put a four inch piece of PVC pipe uh, hose clamp to their rail. Uh, I can't think of anything that would be uglier than uh, a bunch of PVC pipe with uh, end caps on it on my rail. The boat is a um, pretty sleek looking boat um, and I, I want to do my best to keep it looking as sleek as possible. Um, you know, crap on the back of the boat uh, is not a big thing. You know, when I first started sailing, I've had, this is my fifth boat. Um, when I first started sailing, I like loved the cruisy look. I wanted to look like I was going to the ends of the earth and I had all kinds of shit on the back of my boat. And now I've recognized that as just weight in the ends of the boat is just bad for performance. And uh, I like to be a little more discreet. So anyway, so we've got a larger, slightly larger container. So I can fit two of these in. Uh, the other consideration you have is that these, um, first off, these need to have a pressure gauge in them. It's really more for leak testing than actually identifying how much prepping you have. But when you stick them on, uh, they usually go straight out like this. And so if you want to make the smallest locker possible that will fit uh, the one pound propane bottles in your propane bottle, um, you kind of have to have a little bump out. So that's why this section is cut out and this will be built out slightly. So basically we'll build a little box on the side. Now some considerations for when you're building these things. Um, First off, this is going to go in the stern locker. Uh, I've spent a lot of time crunched up into a little ball in a uh, dusty, dirty stern locker. Um, my original intention was to build uh, some bulkheads down there, fiberglass them in. Um, but having been down there a bunch, uh, it's just not going to be a, a pleasant place to do any fiberglass work. You know, obviously, I always work with a mask, but you're you're in a really tight tightly uh enclosed environment um and it's just not the best so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to cut a hole the size of the top of this slip it in all right um i will be taking i'll use this i'll be attaching these on the outside so basically we slip it in through the hole from the top. These will be attached to the deck and then I will screw through the side into those to secure it and then fiberglass the whole thing into the deck. The supports will go all the way around it. And then once that's in, I will slip in the bump out and then attach that to the sides here. Uh, kind of sounds a little confusing, but um, obviously if I have the bump out, I can't slide it through the hole um, for the hatch. And I want this bump out to not be shown by the 